Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Jan Pedagogy. In this section we are going to see about class 7 lesson 10 respiration in organisms part 2 video. So part 1 video or a link on the description box so don't miss it at part 2 the parana. So part 1 and then number respiration and now what are the two types of respiration? Then uh, what is breathing? Every one the breathe panu pati pato, right? Now we will move with 10.4 What do we breathe out? We will breathe out pandro. the percentage of oxygen and carbon dioxide in inhaled and exhaled air. Inhaled air is contained 21 percentage of oxygen. We will see the oxygen in the oxygen. Then 0.04 percentage of carbon dioxide. Uh, carbon dioxide once it reaches the lungs lungs ko poite vella vandu evlo varuma 16.4 percentage of oxygen then 4.4 percentage of carbon dioxide vandu exhale aagu then 10.5 breathing in other animals ipo humans eppadi breathe pannu nu paathutom then other animals la vandu eppadi breathe pannu like cows a irukatom illa vandu lion a irukatom elephant a irukatom frogs reptiles adala vandu eppadi breathe pannu animals such as elephants lions cows goats frogs lizards snakes birds have lungs in their chest cavity like human beings so and oru sila animals enadhu nammala mari paathinga appadina vandu avangaloda body la chest cavities irukku so vandu even lungs irukku so adha vachu avanga breathe panipanga how do other organisms breathe oru sila vandu cockroach adala vandu earth worm adala vandu eppadi breathe pannu appadi paakalam cockroach a cockroach has small openings on the sides of its body other insects also have similar openings so cockroach kandu pathinga appadina or small opening irukku avangaloda body side la so matha insects ku vandu paatho appadina adhe mari opening irukku appadinaanga these openings are called spiracles and opening avanga enna solranga spiracle nranga insects have a network of air tubes called trachea for gas exchange so air tubes vandu irukku that's called as a trachea and the trachea vandu enna pannum appadina gas exchange pandradhu help pannudhu cockroach air rushes through spiracles into the tracheal tubes, diffuses into the body tissue and reaches every cell of the body. So, oxygen rich air will end up on the brain. Spiracles will end up on the tracheal tubes. Tubes will end up on the body tissue. Diffuse into the body tissue. The body tissue will end up on the body. And it reaches to each cell of the body. Okay, on the body will end up on the over cell. Similarly, Carbon dioxide from the cell goes into the tracheal tube and moves out through spiracles. These air tubes or trachea are found only in insects and not in other groups of animals. So, they marry carbon dioxide on the end of the carbon dioxide from the cell. Okay, on the cell will end the release of the body will end the release of the body. Carbon dioxide will end the body will end the body will end the body will end the body. Over cell will carbon dioxide release of the body. So, that will end up on the tracheal tube. Then it comes out of the spiracle. Okay, spiracle will end the body will end the body will end the body will end the body. Then earthworm, we will see about earthworm, right? Uh, the skin of an earthworm feels moist and slimy on touching. Earthworm on the every swasi ko every breathe panno abri patinga through their skins. So on skin on the every irkuma feels moist. Umbo on the or mari iramar ko then slimy vala vala un vala vala nar ko. Gases can easily pass through them. Though frogs have a pair of lungs like human beings, they can also breathe through their skin. Which is moist and slippery. So frogs को अंदर पाती हैं अब रही ना lungs इरके like human beings. They can also breathe through their skin. आँगल अंदर ना पनाग lungs इरके but अरे ना पनाग frogs अंदर skin नाली वंदे breathe पनो. So अंदर skin अब रही का which is most moist and slippery. Then breathing under water. अब रही अंदर fishes वंदे breathe पन्ने दे अब रही ना पाकला. So नाम के लार कुमे तेरी और fish वंदे अब रही breathe पनो use the Using their gills, right? Now, we will learn a little bit about this. Gills in the fish help them to use oxygen dissolved in water. Gills are projections of the skin. You may wonder how gills helps in breathing. 
gills are well supplied with blood vessels for exchange of gases so gills are used panni da enna pannum appadina fish vandu thannila kalandir oxygen vandu absorb pannikku namak theriyum so gills are the projections of the skin on the skin oda projection da vandu enna solranga gills appindranga so gills la vandu enna irukku nariya blood vessels irukku edukaga for exchange of gases then do plants also respire plants also respire pannuma yes like other living organisms plants also respire for their survival so matha organisms mari enadhu nama plants vandu respire pannu adu vaalradhukku adu respire pannadhu they also take in oxygen from the air and given out carbon dioxide in the cells oxygen is used to break down glucose into carbon dioxide and water as in other organisms in plants each part can independently take in oxygen from the air and give out carbon dioxide plants vandu enna pannu appadina oxygen vandu eduth break down panni glucose ah maathi then vandu adoriya carbon dioxide vandu release pannudhu appdi paathirukku like in the plants la vandu paatho appadina they have a tiny pores okay akkudi kudiya oothinga irukku that's called as in stomata adu vandu enna pannu appadina exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide vandu help pannudhu other living or living cells of the plants the root cell also need oxygen to generate energy we take up air from the air space present uh, between the soil particles root cell ku enna venum appadina or oxygen venum for their energy kaga so adu vandu root cell root cell enga the air eduthukom appadina from the soil soil particles and the gap irukulla between the soil particle nadu gap irukulla so adha rendu enna pannikom root cell vandu air la vandu eduthukom appindranga so the conclusion of this lesson is all organisms needs energy for their survival okay va ella organism ena da uyir vaalradhukku energy venu so energy avanga respire pannum bodha vandu ena kedaikku ungalku energy kedaikida yeah let's we move the keywords aerobic respiration anaerobic respiration breathing rate cellular respiration diaphragm exhalation gills lungs inhalation spiracle trachea ribs Okay chira I think I have completed this lesson if you have any doubt you can ask me on the comment box uh, I'll meet you guys on the book back solutions video until then bye bye from Pradeshni